It has been four and a half years, more than 1,600 days. Much has changed in the world, but for the people who escaped the fire at Grenfell Tower or lost loved ones, one thing remains the same. Their fight for justice is no nearer being won. This video made by the bereaved and survivors group Grenfell United was released just an hour ago. It marks what they say is a determined change in their fight, focusing on the urgent need for prosecutions. The anger and frustration of Grenfell's bereaved and survivors is being made plain. Four and a half years after the fire, which claimed the lives of 72 people, they say they are tired of waiting for justice. They say more than enough evidence has already been unearthed at the inquiry and police insistence that it should finish before prosecutions can begin is unacceptable. Karim Musali's uncle Hesham died on the top floor of Grenfell Tower. He says the time for waiting for the authorities to act is over. We've heard all of the evidence, fraudulent testing, the, the lying and all of the emails that have come out. I mean, it's, it's quite clear the picture has been painted. And now we need accountability. Now we need justice. We need justice for our 72, and we need justice for the people that are stuck in these fire traps all across the country, because justice for us is justice for them. The group sent their message direct to the police today. But in response, the Met said while they understood their frustrations, there could still be no full criminal investigation until the inquiry concludes. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That remains some way off. Survivors. The fire brigade, big corporations, have all already been questioned about their role in the disaster. Now it's the turn of government, which began through a lawyer with this apology. The department is deeply sorry for its past failures in relation to the oversight of the system that regulated safety in the construction and refurbishment of high-rise buildings. It apologises to the bereaved residents and survivors of the fire for such failures. On the billboards placed across London and in other cities, it's clear, sorry will not be enough. They want government to make good on promises they made. That the truth will out and justice will be done. And that Grenfell Tower and the people who called it home will never be forgotten. We need accountability, we need people to be prosecuted, we need charges, we need closure. How much longer can you go on? As long as it takes. Um, we will be here for as long as it takes. A huge part of their urgency today is trying to make sure as long as it takes doesn't mean years and years. The toll it's taken already, almost too much to bear.